So I am no stranger to the Smoxie. I've talked about it before on this channel, and overall I've had a pretty interesting reaction to say the least. If you don't know what the Smock Z is, basically it was this steam machine that you could take anywhere. So, kind of like the Nintendo Switch before the Nintendo Switch, just as a steam machine. There was only one problem, it never came out. And I made a video on it, actually the last video I made on the Smock Z, saying that the Smock Z was unofficially dead. And to be honest, it still kind of is, but there is new life to it. So first off, the Steam Machine is not dead in the company's eyes that is actually making it. Basically, uh, the company behind the Steam Machine is going to be showing it off at the Embedded World Convention in a few weeks. And nobody really knows what they're going to show, but at least they're showing something about it. And on top of that, a set of leaked images shows that the Steam Machine has printed circuit boards, case samplings, and processors. And all of this does give some new hope to the project. Now I will have a link to an article below from Lilliputing.com, I have no idea how to pronounce that. And they talk about the Smock Z, and they talk about the leaked specs it's gonna have with the new circuit boards and all that. And I really do think that they did a good job on explaining what the Smock Z should hopefully be all about in 2018 if it does even ship. Now before I actually get into my own thoughts on this and talk about if the Smock Z will actually ship, I have to make something very clear. These are leaks and rumors. If you don't know what leaks and rumors mean, basically for all I know none of this could be true and the Smock Z could still be dead. But the reason I'm talking about this is because there is a little gleam of hope left for the Smock Z. And hopefully they actually, the company behind the Smock Z does embrace that so we get a pretty good product and not just, you know, vaporware. Okay, so the last video I made on the Smock Z was me basically saying that the Smock Z is unofficially dead. And I still hold to the fact that I think that the Smock Z is not coming back. It's just been delayed too many times at this point that I think that it's just not going to be happening. Like, there's been so many projects that have started on both Kickstarter and Indiegogo that came super close to actually coming, but never saw the light of day, and I think the Smock Z is one of those products. Then again, I could be wrong, I've been wrong in the past, and I'm not saying that I'm going to be 100% right, but I'm just saying that I doubt that the Smock Z is actually going to be coming out. It is an interesting product, I just can't see it. But these new leaks does bring hope to this project, and if the Smock Z team does actually embrace this potential Nintendo Switch Steam Machine kind of thing, then it might actually be successful. But I've seen a lot of videos since I've made my last video on the Smock Z, and from what I can tell, the specs are not that great in the year 2018. I saw a video, now again, they could have changed the specs, but I did see a video where the Smock Z was running a game, I think, Just Cause 2, and it was running at, like, I think medium settings, and it was running, like, 20 FPS. It was a horrible, horrible version for the Smock Z, and I just think that if that's the specs that we're going to be working with with the Smock Z, then it's going to die pretty quickly. But let's say that the Smock Z actually does have good specs, and it can run uh, a random game off the top of my head, maybe Doom 2016 at, I guess, I think medium would be a pretty good line at 40 FPS around there, maybe 30. That may seem kind of high demanding, but if the Switch can run it, and the Switch version actually does look pretty good, and it runs at a solid 30 FPS around there, then I'm sure that this device can do it. And especially with the price that the Smock Z is going to have, I think there was one model that was going to be pushing a thousand dollars. So yeah, you could easily get some good performance in that. Now, if it was like 350 and it had like Nintendo Switch like specs, then okay, some people might not like that. I think that would be fine. But if it's running Just Cause 2 at 20 frames per second on like medium settings, then no, I don't even care if it's a thousand dollars, which still would be a complete ripoff. Just no, 
a lot of people are also thinking that the Smog Z, if it does actually come out, it's gonna focus on something like the GPD Win 2, which if you don't know, the GPD Win 2 is kind of like a a laptop with an Xbox 360 controller built in, and it can run games like Rocket League pretty good, and it's about 600 bucks. And if they focus on something like that, and looking at the leak specs, then it looks like that they're gonna have pretty similar stuff then okay, maybe that would work, but I'm still quite skeptical. But that's just my thoughts. If you have your own opinions, let me know them in the comments, and I'll try to reply back to you since my channel is, you know, kind of small. And I get like 5 or 10 comments on each video, so... Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, then I'd appreciate it if you shared this video on social media, but that's always up to you. I'll have my social medias linked in the description. And see you.